Is John satisfied being with me? Being in a 24 year old Filipina. When you talk about is he satisfied with me being in bed? I just bang bang twice. I don't really experience a lot in bedtime. Hey guys, welcome back again to my YouTube channel, Giselle in the Philippines. And for those who are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Giselle. So for today's video is we are going to talk about um, the good thing and the bad thing happened with me when I was with John for the second time. So uh, for those who are new, I've met John second time now and we are in a long distance relationship since 2021. So I'm gonna share with you what are those experiences I've been through with him and what are those changes that I've been um, encountering being with him. This is a Filipina perspective. So if you are Filipina and you are looking for a foreigner that wants to be date, so you should watch this and hopefully I could um, help you with this kind of ideas. So a lot of people say that, um, how was your second meeting with John? How was the first night? How was everything going? So let's talk the first night with him. Of course, being with him for the second time, it was not really that easy for you to, you know, do move right away because it's a little bit awkward, of course, I feel that. It's a little bit shy. The shyness is there. Me and John are used to love each other. We always talk some things and um, it was not that really like easy to do something right away. Of course, you have to, you know, talk, talk a little. How was your flight going? How was your day? Like that. And um, it's just people ask me how was the first night. Of course, it was good. And it was a very good day and we enjoy the first night and we really both save ourselves for each other we really take care of ourselves just to enjoy in the future and that future is that time jan come and i was really happy for that actually before jan told me that i gained weight or i'm not the same at what you see me in the first meeting i was like oh okay and then he was really gaining weight at the second time I met him and he feels like maybe I'll get disappointed or maybe I'll discourage myself for um, dating him because like that and that's what he think and um, I was like that is not a problem that is not a problem after that of course after that meeting is we had a small meal and then after we um, went to the hotel because he's very he's very tired. Uh, we stayed at Honeycomb for one night, and he's really gaining weight. And I was asking, um, what is the cause of a person like you will gain more weight, and you know like that. And uh, he said that the more I get bored, the more the food is very close to me because. You know, the more that he feels stressed or tired from work, the more he ate a lot of food. So that's one of the reasons also. And he said to me that when I see you or when we have bonding together, for sure I would eat less because I'm happy. Once I'm happy, I would not care about the food. I'm just enjoying what I'm doing. But if I'm sad, I would um, love to eat. And when I feel bored, I'm lonely, I just want to eat more and more and more. It's like, oh, okay. And for him, losing a lot of weight is a very healthy way, of course, for our heart and for ourself. And it's kind of like very different here in the Philippines, actually, that I was a little bit shocked because here, when you gain weight, that means you're healthy or you're um, in a better place or right like that. But if you lose weight, you might be sick or um, you have some health issues. So it's kind of like um, very opposite to what he said to me that he's gaining weight. That means he is not well at his place like that. So when uh, we used to go to Sikihor, actually we really don't do a lot of activities. But we just... Um, visit to infinity and uh, we just um, talk make videos and just gave time to ourselves. and he's happy doing that he said your touch is very helpful your presence is very helpful and I've noticed that he's not asking a lot of foods like he's eating just twice a day or just once a day after that without any foods 
snacks or whatever. So that's how I realized that sometimes being with the person that you want to be would help you make your health good. Like your health issues will be in better. So I'm glad that I was um, the one who helped you, him losing probably two kilos according to him that uh, he felt like his clothes are losing a little bit not tighter like that I was like, oh I'm glad that you felt that way and even when we go back here at my at our house he never eat my mother was like wondering that is John okay we keep inviting him to eat of course that's us Filipinos always inviting to eat but John is like no I'm fine I just did eat um, when I'm contented with that and I'm happy I just want to do something fun like that and so my mama was like a little bit worried because maybe John would think we never really take care of him properly and then John was like and I did clarify to mom that he's in a happy situation mom that's why he never eat a lot or like that the good thing on dating a foreigner like John is I am NOT worrying on what food should I prepare for him to feel like it's a good food for him that his stomach will be feel okay but I'm more very happy that he eat whatever we have on our table it could be Filipino it could be whatever kind of food as long as it's a good food so that's a very good thing being with him is that I is that he is very willing to eat whatever we have but the bad thing about it is he needs to have more water with his body but not our water so it should be like a bottled water and if you see some videos that he always carry the bottle of water for his safetyness because we have our own different way on drinking water and he is having his own different way on drinking water but we do use deep well and he is not using deep well at all just a faucet but it's I think it's a clean water for sure so every day I used to buy um, bottled water at store and also um, John my mother was shocked the second time because John was like asking for a tissue which we never have tissue <laughs> we never have tissue so my mother was like go to you to the store mom buy a couple of tissues because every time he'll go to the bathroom he is not using anything like a water like a Filipino does you know he is different also so at that that's kind of like a little bit um, bad thing about it because we aren't prepared I thought he'll be okay with water water only you know but um, at that time he needs a tissue and so my mother gave that and of course the bottle of water and I think it was all good. One negative thing about dating a foreigner also is um, your family is not really aware of what you're talking about with your partner. So you have to do translation or um, interpret what he said so that the other person will understand what we're talking about. And that's what we feel what we encountered when John came here is like we are having in a group of people and then I have my own family. And then we're just talking, talking, and talking. So my family feels a little bit awkward, like boring, because they don't know what we're talking about. So I have to interpret it with them so that they are aware of what we're talking about. And yeah, it's just uh, more hard work on communicating to the both sides, uh, foreigner and Fil uh, Filipino, because of the language bar barriers. But I think it would be even more fun because I think looking in the other side looking in the other side trying to make things better so that the family and then john is happy also especially when the time john really asked personally with my mom that i want to take giselle with me in the states like that and i'm gonna take care of her and i'm gonna give the best for her like that i have to say that in the other filipino kind of language that we have here with my mom and yeah we're laughing when my mother understand what we're talking about if it's kind of like a funny moments and that's a very good way on making a good relationship to your family and to the person that you've been with especially a foreigner so just try to be good to your family uh, especially if you're a foreigner try to be vibe with the family around you and just enjoy your life being in the philippines and 
Yeah, and I think John is very happy of what I'm showing to him. The kindness, the generosity, and everything I gave to him. I think it was all good and all the best. And um, I think he is a lucky guy. Yes. <laughs> but what made me really disappoint is the time was too tight. You know, like if you are dating a Filipina this time and you're planning to visit Philippines for a short period of time, your Filipina would be happy, but at the same time, they'll be sad. Because that's how I feel when Jan visit with me. I feel disappointed that we are all we are already enjoying the moment, but why is it so unfair that it's too soon for him to leave? You know, I feel like why? Like it's too tight. It's very tight, and I question myself why, 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 why? But he has a valid reason for that, and. Um, just need to understand because of job, because of this, this, this. So I was like, you know, I was really sad about it. And um, I did open that to him that I'm not really that satisfied. Though I'm happy be you being with me, spending the time with me, with my family, and my family in Bohol. But it's just too tight. So we've been waiting for like a year. One year. And I also received a comment. Is John still rocking at the age of 58? And the answer is... Yes, he's still rocking at the age of 58. He is really well prepared. But of course, it's a tired night, of course. But yeah, I couldn't believe that he really still rocking at the age of 58. And he's stronger than I expected. Like, he's really like strong person. Is John satisfied being with me, being in a 24-year-old Filipina? And the answer is yes, I think so because I'm still young. I can do a lot of things with him. I could make him happy, uh, whatever he wants to. Of course, being at my age is, though I experience a lot of things already, but that doesn't mean I know everything. When you talk about is he satisfied with me being in bed, I think so, but um, I don't really experience a lot in bedtime. I'm not that kind of a woman that are, have a lot of experience. I think when I gave birth to my little son, that was 2020, um, 2020 at that time, I just bang bang twice. Twice, the first meeting, and then the second meeting. That's just it. Oh, so. Uh, I don't know anything about bedtime stuff, but um, yes, I'm just so happy that we made it together and we're enjoying our uh, time in bed. <laughs> There's also a question that's saying, what are the most embarrassing thing happening to you being with Jen? And I think the most embarrassing thing I've done being with him is when my grandma was rumbled <laughs> when my grandma was rumbled and he can say what you know where it's just like my grandma was crumbled so if you're looking at filipina that would really love you genuinely that would really support you that would really um long patience and love and kind and everything of course um only thing i could really highly recommend is the christian filipina and for sure you could really find a good filipina in the word christian and um, getting to know each other would be very helpful so i'm gonna put my link on my description box and hopefully guys you'll find a filipina like me that who is very cheerful person very active person and wants to know more explore more things so um, i'm very thankful and um, blessed that i have this kind of uh, talent that i could you know like the communications that i could share with you whatever experience especially that i am dating a foreigner right now and hopefully you will enlighten up and you will uh, encourage to do find more filipinas like me so i'm gonna end this video now and hopefully you're um, enjoying and uh, see you guys on my next video this is me again giselle in the philippines thank you so much for watching bye